Today, Olivia Speakman joins the prank patrol. Her mission? To convince her best friend that a machine can turn dreams into reality. And she's about to get a front row seat to one of the scariest. Hey Prank Patrol, I'm Olivia and I want to play a prank on my friend Hannah. <laughs> Me and Hannah have lots of sleepovers together and I really need your help to pull off a dream prank. That's got to be then. <laughs> Olivia Speakman! Did you apply for Prank Patrol's help? Yeah. You did? Yes. Congratulations. You're the newest member of the Prank Patrol. Look, there's your pastor prank, isn't it beautiful? Mum, I'm going to need it for a short while. Is that OK? Absolutely fine. Love Take stuff. her. Olivia, follow me. Lots to do. Let's get pranking. Meet our newest prankster, nine-year-old Olivia Speakman from Littleborough. Olivia describes herself as chatty, energetic and confident. She loves politics, likes reading newspapers and would like to be the Prime Minister when she's older. Every morning, she likes to dance around the garden and shout... Morning, world! ..with her mum. Right then, down to business. Tell me about your best friend, Hannah. Why are we pranking her in particular? Well, um, me and Hannah have been friends for a long time, since kindergarten, and um, we've always been, like, best friends, but at times she could be quite bossy, so I decided that I want to play a prank on Hannah. You want to get your own back? Exactly. Good motive there. OK, then now I've heard something about you having weird dreams and you want to involve those in the prank. How are we going to do that? T tell me about the dreams first. I had this weird nightmare and um, it was about this teacher and, and she was really weird because I've never seen her before. But she was like chasing me and um, because I got a sum wrong in my maths and she was chasing me across a field. I'm actually getting really quite weird. scared with you telling me about it. It sounds really <laughs> freaky. She was just a, a, a teacher chasing after you. What did she look like? She was just like really scary and ugly. Ugly screwed up face and like, you do your maths so much. It sounds like a horrible nightmare. Well listen, before we go any further, let's take a closer look at Hannah. Olivia and Hannah have been friends since nursery and used to do everything together. Like most best friends, at times Hannah can drive Olivia crazy and make her life a living nightmare. Olivia describes Hannah as a complete drama queen and a screamer. Now they are characteristics that we like in a target. Oh, we love people who scream. That's why we do it, actually. So we know that you want to prank Hannah and we also know that you want the prank to involve your weird dreams and nightmares. So what do you have in mind for that? Well, I want, like, a prank um, so that she can experience my nightmare as well as me, if that's possible. If we took her to, say, some sort of dream lab. You know they do research on sleep sometimes? Yeah. It's like a big room where they have a bed and they have the helmet they put on with all the, the wires coming off. We could do that and we could put it on you and then we could tell her that your images that are in your brain are being projected onto a large screen. Then those images come to life, come crashing through the screen and make a scream ahead of That sounds great. Do you like it? Love it. OK, then. And also, we could film me in her house and, like, film her favourite superstars or something like that, and, like, her pet. And then she could see them on that screen and she would be really confused. And then all of a sudden it could leap into my nightmare. Oh, what a brilliant idea. Yeah, she can wear it first and you wear it. She believes it. She then believes your nightmare. Sounds good to me. Well, there's a lot of work to do for this nightmare prank. <laughs> no? OK, then. Ninjas, you know what to do. So oh, here we are, Olivia. Welcome to Prank HQ. What do you think? Well, it's amazing. It's cool, isn't it? This is where we make your dreams, or your nightmares in this case, come to life. With a little help from my friends. Would you like to meet them? Definitely. Just through here. This is Matt, our editing genius. Oh, nice screensaver. Thanks right. for that. So uh, Matt is our editing genius here at Prank Patrol. This right. is Olivia. Oh, Matt. Olivia, tell him what you need. Well, I'm hoping to play a prank with my friend Hannah. And um, I want to um, link in a nightmare that I had with it. My nightmare that I had was about a teacher that was chasing me across the field because I got some wrong in my maths. Yeah, well, that sounds like one scary dream. It is very scary, but to make it come to life, we need to get it onto a big screen. So how would we go about doing that? Um, what we can do is I can set up a green screen. We'll add some backgrounds in afterwards. Who are you going to get to play the scary teacher, though? Well, um, I was kind of hoping that 
You could do it. Oh, I'm playing the scary. Is this, is this your nightmare or mine? <laughs> Recipe for a prank. Prank night. So, have you got a hankering for some late night prankering? Well, one good prank deserves another with today's recipe. All you need is a clock radio, a pie tin, and a can of squirty cream. Sneak into your target's room and crank up the volume on their alarm clock. Then set the alarm to say, ooh, 4.30 a.m. Now, the early bird gets the worm, or in this case, pie. Place the pie tin full of squirty cream on top of their snooze button and wait for the late night magic to happen. The first part makes for the perfect time bomb prank. And the second is just the icing on the cake. OK, let me get this straight. We're going to take Hannah to a sleep lab. She's going to get involved in your very realistic nightmare. And I'm going to be the scary teacher. Great. All right, then. Stand on that position right there and I'll see what I can rustle up. This should be funny. <laughs> what do you think? That is so not your colour. Now this, this is it. You actually like that? Yeah. What do you think? Perfect. Really? You well, like it? it's just how I dreamt it. Oh, great. Do you really think Hannah's going to fall from a dress like this? Maybe, but I know. Just in case, let's test it out in class. Are you telling me you're going to send me into a classroom just like this? Yes, I am. Things I do. Go on, then. OK, so we're here at the school. I can't believe you're making me do this. I'm now going to try and convince a whole class of students that I am a lady teacher. Good luck. I bet you can do it. Thank you, dear. Hello. Sorry, I'm late. Um, OK. The first, the first thing we want to talk about today is, is maths. Does anyone know anything about maths? Duh. I didn't think it was Barney. I thought it was a woman. 64 times 4? I didn't have a clue. At the beginning, I thought she were a real teacher. No, no way. And you have two ties. I think she was a real scary teacher. I thought she was definitely scary. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? No, not really. You did quite well. Quite enjoyed it, actually. I've got to say, though, I may have a few nightmares myself for the next couple of years. So, costume sorted, scary teacher definitely sorted. All we need to do now is film your nightmare. Now, Matt's over there by the green screen waiting for us. And seeing as it's your nightmare, why don't you direct it? OK, here's your director's chair. You sit round about there, Olivia. Of course, Matt's going to film all this. You rolling, Matt, yeah? Yeah, rolling. It's your nightmare, Olivia. I'm the scary teacher. What would you like me to do? Can you, like, run? Yeah. And then um, I want to say you're really determined in catching me, and then like you're still trying to grab me, and you can maybe fall over a couple of times. I'm an evil teacher. Exactly. Imagine if you could snap your fingers and be anywhere you want. Well, that's what a green screen can do. Back in the edit suite, we can replace anything green with a background that Olivia wants, and that's how we'll make Olivia's nightmare into a movie. Cut. That was brilliant. Yeah? You make a great teacher. Ah, oh, thank you very it's much. definitely the take. Nice. Well, listen, I think for Hannah to really fall for this prank, we've got to make her think that we really can record her dreams. So what sort of stuff does she dream about, do you think? I know she really loves Richard Fleishman. OK. And um, we could maybe do something, like, about a pet, because she's got a cat called Bruno. Right. And um, I also know that she really likes a bedroom. She's in there most of the time. Well, that's the kind of thing we can't really recreate here, but we could always go to her house and even get her mum involved in the prank as well. Great. Sound good? Right, then. I'll tell you what. I'll get changed first. Yeah. yeah, I think we're clear. OK, so we're here at Hannah's house to film the secret footage that's going to make her dream look realistic. There's your camera. Thank you. Here's mine. Now, don't forget this. It's a secret. Mum's the word. Shh. OK, first things first, synchronised cameras. Are you recording? Yep. Beautiful. Now, Hannah's mum's expecting us, so I'll give her a knock. Hi, Jack. Hi, hi. Right. hi. Come on in. Lots of these. Yeah, lots of photos. Shh. I think this is it. This is it. Great. Let's go in. Why are you whispering? Oh, because we're spies. You know, quiet. Shh. And Mum let us in. She's obviously not here. Yeah, I know, but I've always wanted to be a secret agent, you know? I've got the style, I've got the moves, and boy, have I got the brains. <laughs> oh, Barney! Ow. Come on, let's get shooting. I'm going to be back soon. OK. I think I'm going to film some paintings on a wall. 
Whilst we set to filming all the objects that Hannah would recognise from her house, I also got the ninjas to film some special green screen footage of her number one heartthrob, actor Richard Fleishman, so that she totally believes the dream machine is reading her thoughts. Well, I think that's all the footage recorded. Well done, Olivia. Let's get out of here. You hold that. OK. Nice work, okay. team. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. OK, so we've got the footage from Hannah's house, but now to make her believe that your nightmare is real, we need some footage from your house. Should we oh. do it? All right, then. First, though, a big close-up of your nostrils. Barney! Dun -dun. Sorry. After you. Take your shoes off. OK. Once we had all the footage from Olivia's house, we returned to Prank HQ so that Matt could transform it into a nightmare. Hey, Matt, some really successful filming there. How's the footage looking? Oh, yeah, we've got some great stuff. Check this out. Matt has superimposed the footage from Hannah's house with the footage of me as a scary teacher. He then added some special effects, and the result is one scary nightmare. I think that Hannah's definitely going to believe that. So, Olivia, the dream footage is sorted. All we need to do now is make the dream helmet. Daz, how have you been getting on, mate? Uh, fine. I've uh, actually made the uh, dream machine. Let's have a look at that. that design. Look at this. Cool. Do you made that? Yeah, yeah. And but it's that's actually amazing. at the prank location at the moment. Fully. That's installed. all set. That's ready to go. Yeah, Brilliant. Okay. So what else do we need to do? So now? what I need you two guys to do is uh, give me a hand making the actual helmet that will fit over the over your head. So it looks like that when finished. Yeah, that particular one. I like these diagrams. Look at that test subject, Hannah, getting involved there. Cool. What do you reckon? Mega. She's, She's going to fall for this, isn't she? Gonna, yeah. Olivia helped Darren apply the finishing touches to the helmet, so that Hannah will be convinced that her dreams really can be read. How does it feel? Brilliant. Well, it looks great. I think we're all done here, Darren. Thank you very much. Olivia, nice job. One thing left to do now. Ninjas! Load the van, quick! <laughs> so, here we are at the prank location. Should we check out the room? Definitely. Straight through there. Follow me. Now, of course, in the prank room, there's loads of cosy sofas and bean bags to make Hannah feel at home. And then we're going to lead her right over here to the thing that you've seen on paper up until now. But this is it. The real thing, the Dream Machine Mark II. It's nice, isn't it? Amazing. Now, of course, that's the helmet you're going to be wearing when you're in there. And Hannah's going to be sat in this chair. In fact, just take a seat. Because the Dream Lab doctor is going to be telling Hannah that all these machinery and wires in there are going to be translating what's in the brain through the helmet onto that projection screen there. So let's take a look and see what Hannah's going to be seeing. Quite eerie, that, isn't it? Yeah, that's brilliant. You like it? Though. Yeah. Well, listen, I've got a very important job for you. Take the remote control. Now, can you please just look at the footage and go through it all and make sure there are no glitches in it? Sure. And if there are, we can sort them out later. But just do that for now. I've got something else to do for the prank, so I'll catch you later on. OK. OK? Cheers, Bye -bye. Olivia. See you in a bit. Now, while I've brought you through here, Olivia's watching the TV screen. Now, she doesn't know I'm going to do this now, but I'm going to do to her now what I'm actually going to do to Hannah on the prank. If you're going to prank somebody, you've got to be able to take it as well as dish it out. Follow me. Where's your Oh, my work? God, you made me jump. Now, that is a great reaction. How are you feeling? Scared. Sorry, but that is what we're going to do to Hannah. So, we need to give her a call now and get her involved in the prank. Should we do it? Yeah. Go on, then, follow me. So let's go through the story. What have we told Hannah so far? OK, well, um, I've told Hannah that um, my dad's friend's got a sleep lab and um, that he wanted someone to test out um, an invention that he's made, which is supposed to somehow record dreams, but I've not got much information about it. OK. And um, I've said that he, he's asked me to go and that I might be able to take a friend, so... And that's what we're doing right now. We're inviting yes. Hannah to the sleep lab. Make that call. Hi, Hannah, it's Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Um, you know that lab I was telling you about, that sleep lab? Yeah. Saying that that man's invented. Well, um, he, he said that I can bring you over, so it's definitely happening. OK, is it tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. OK. OK, see you tomorrow. OK, bye. 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 And there you have it, a successful phone call. Hannah's buying it, she's going to be there at the prank. Nice work, Olivia, one of those. Beautiful. How will Hannah react to our fake dream machine? That's my cat! Hannah thinks she's going to have her dreams read, but will she ever sleep again when Olivia's nightmare comes to life? It's all coming up in Prank Patrol. Olivia, how are you feeling? I'm just really excited to not see Hannah's face. I can't wait to make her scream. Let's show you how we're going to do it. Over here is the big screen, of course, where the projection's going to be, and uh, I'm going to come crashing out like I did earlier on on you. Very nice. Now, you haven't met this guy yet. This is our sleep doctor. 
Hello. Hello. This is Steve. This is Olivia. Hello, Hi, Olivia. Steve. How's things going, Steve? Everything's going well. We've got everything nicely set up, including the fake dream machine and, of course, the sleep helmet. Is it working? Yep. It's, it's actually working? Yep. Can I have a go? Of course you can. Why did you do this for so long? Oh, yes. Come on, then, dream machine and dream helmet. Tell me what I'm dreaming about. What's that? It's like a... Oh, it's a magic eye picture. That's where you look closely, isn't it? You can see something. Whoa! Oh! Ninjas! See there, Steve, our Dream Lab doctor, is raring to go for this prank. As you can see, I've got my costume on and I'm all set. We're here backstage, this is where all the cameras are going to be, and this here is the wall that I'm going to come crashing through. Olivia, how are you feeling? Just really excited. Ready yeah. for your acting debut? Wait, yeah. Well, listen, on the other side of this wall, of course, is the prank room. Should we go and check it out? Yeah. Follow me. Now, the first room you're going to come to is the reception, and here's our receptionist, Gabby. Hello, Gabby. Hello. Gabby's then going to guide everybody through here into the actual Dream Lab itself. There's Steve, our Dream Lab doctor. Hello, Steve. Hello. Ready for the prank. Now, the whole room is covered by hidden cameras, as always. Okay. There's one right up there. Hello, hidden camera. Come over here. You can see this one on top of the booth there. Oh. Hello, hidden camera. And there are two <laughs> behind this false wall right here. Hello. Okay. Steve, you raring to go? I'm feeling good. Any words for Steve before we start this? Just good luck. Good luck. Now, come over here and have a look in this screen here. Your family want to say something to you, some words of encouragement. Olivia, we've done loads of pranks together, so you know what to do to pull this off. So you and Barney, make sure you don't let your dad down. Good luck, Olivia. I hope this prank is fantastic. And don't fall asleep on the job. <laughs> well, it's nice that Mum and Dad are on board as well, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. Right, then, fingers across, my toes across. Let's get this prank done. Hang on a minute. Oi, ninjas! It might be a dream, lad, but it doesn't mean you can sleep. Come on, there's still more to be done yet. Get to it! Honestly. The blueprint for Olivia's dream prank is a bogus sleep laboratory with a made-up dream machine to project one fake daydream followed by one scary nightmare before one seriously freaky teacher bursts through the screen, giving the heebie-jeebies to our target hammer. Here come the girls arriving at the fake sleep lab. There's our prank patrol actor, Gabby, taking them through to get their lab coats on, and fill out sleep questionnaires so that Dr. Steven can find out about their nocturnal activities, or, or dreams, to you and me. Ah, excellent, we're done. Fantastic. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, these are good. OK, do you want to follow me? And I'll show you the dream machine. This is it. This is the dream machine. Uh -huh. This is basically the most important piece of equipment that we have here. OK? Wow. Right? It transfers the energy from your brain into an image, which is going to be displayed on here. Oh, wow. OK? Cool. Is that good? Yeah. Yes. Right. Now, before we get you in here, okay, we just need to get you all relaxed because the way it works is the more relaxed you are, the easier it is for the machine to pick up all the stuff which comes from your brain, okay? So first things first, we're just going to do just a few exercises. Nothing strenuous, it's okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do some meditation. So, to begin with, I just want you to hold your hands out like so, okay? Close your eyes. I want you to breathe through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, so in and out. Keep breathing. Imagine yourself by a river. Feel the sound of your heartbeat mixing with the river's ebb and flow. How are you feeling? 
It's gone all blurry. It's gone all blurry. <laughs> It's okay, that's fine. That's a sign that your brain's starting to relax, okay? Up onto your feet. We've relaxed your mind. Now we need to relax your body. Okay? Right, so what I want you to do is I want you to hold your hands out to the side, like this. Now what I want you to do is I want you to lift your arms up and then down, like a bird. Okay? When you lift them up, breathe in. Then out. Now just imagine that you're a hawk. Flying over the mountains. <laughs> okay. Join in. <laughs> I know it sounds it sounds a bit silly, but trust me, it's very organic. It's 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 a natural sound for you to make. Put your hands out like this. Okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to push your hands out, and when you push them out, I need you to make another noise. This time you need to make a noise like a whale. It goes... Now you might be laughing at this, but meditation is supposed to be fun. And as you can see here, the girls are quite literally having a whale of a time. I think you need to be just a little bit more relaxed before you get you in the machine. Okay. So what I want you to do is I just want you to just start doing this. Fling your arms around, almost as if you're a monkey. Right, so you keep doing that. I'll be back in just a couple of minutes, okay? Now that Dr. Stephen has left the girls alone, let's find out how seriously they're taking his meditation techniques. What is all that? <laughs> let's try that. <laughs> I feel better already. Do the monkey one. <laughs> So I think Hannah actually is taking this seriously. <laughs> oh, here he comes. How are you doing? Oh, good. You're still keeping at it. That's excellent. That's excellent. Right. Better get one of you in there. Hannah, you're looking the most relaxed. Should we get you in? Okay. Now I just want you to watch the screen ahead and tell me what it is that you see, if anything. Okay. Oh, oh, we're getting something. That's my house. That's definitely your house. That's my car! This is amazing. OK, where are we now? What is this? Hannah the Penny TV! Whoa, what was...? That's my mum. Oh! Now that we've got Hannah totally believing the fake dream machine works, it's time to crank things up a bit and introduce her number one heartthrob, actor Richard Fleishman. <gasps> That's Richard Fleishman! Richard Fleishman? I wrote that down. Who's, who's he? That's him! Oh my word. Who is it? Who is Richard Fleishman? Um, he's a... Ah. <gasps> oh, oh, my word. Hannah, your house is amazing. Why have you never invited me around before? Hannah, I've just been... Are you thinking about, about him a lot? And it looks like you've been having a great time in 4F this year. But I was just thinking... Hannah? I answer those questions that you wrote in your essay. Would I like to be a goth in real life? No, I don't think I would. I don't think I can... Hannah? Yeah? Hannah, have, have you been thinking about him a lot? Yeah. Because the clarity that's coming through, you must have been thinking about him and... Oh! Oh. Oh, we seem to... We seem to be losing it. Um... OK, it must have been all that concentrating on um, that Richard Fleishman fellow. It must have... Must have overloaded it. OK. Right. Oh, wow, this is... This is fantastic. This is okay. Let me get you out of it. How are you feeling? That was brilliant. Yeah? You said that was someone called Richard Fleishman. You must you must have strong feelings for him to appear in your dream like this. I kind this. of fancy. You kind of fancy him. Oh wow. Okay. Oh my word, I can't believe he said my name. Okay. Well, it seems like Hannah believes in the dream machine. But let's see how she likes Olivia's nightmare. OK, it says down here that you've actually had some reoccurring nightmares. I heard one about this teacher that was, like, chasing me because I'd, I'd not handed my homework in. Um, and he was chasing me across the field. And... Oh, right. How often do you actually have this dream? Um, I've had it a few times, really. A few times. OK. Something's coming through. Oh, wow. Right. Do you, do you recognise any of it? That's Mum and okay. Dad. That's a little brother in the middle. This is a house. 
Right, okay. Um, okay, right. Olivia, just stay calm. I'd have to step out of the room for a second. Just focus on your dream. If anything comes up and it, yeah. and it does turn out to be a nightmare or a bad dream, mm. don't disturb her. Okay. Okay, because if you do, it can it can have some serious serious implications. Okay. Just just take this and write down anything that you see. Okay. Okay. I just need to take this phone call. Just okay. don't worry about it. Okay? okay. Now that Stephen has left the girls on their own, it's time for Olivia's nightmare to begin. something to say to you. How you come, Olivia? Hannah, you've just been pranked by the prank patrol. <laughs> sorry, I'll, I'll take my scary teacher mask off. Hiya. Sorry. Um... Hey, my friend. We've been filming this all the way through. Can I just say one thing? Oh. The prank went really well, and um, Hannah was completely shocked. She nearly fainted and nearly fell off a chair. When I saw my house and my cat, I was like, I couldn't believe it, but then when Olivia said to me it was a prank, I was like, I didn't really want it to end. I think Hannah was really buying into the prank, wasn't she? All that stuff with the exercises, I mean, that's just great to watch, isn't it? She was genuinely believing that the ha oh, ah, and the monkey impressions were actually getting her more relaxed. I thought Barney as a teacher was absolutely terrifying. I know for a fact that if I had Barney as a teacher, I'd be scared to death. When I saw Olivia's dream, I just thought it was really real, but when Barney jumped out, I was like, I was really shocked. Just that scream was amazing. And when she's watching her dream, seeing Richard Fleischman was like, he said my name. When I saw Richard Fleischman, I was like, because I have a bit of a crush on him, and I was like, oh my word, he's in my room. Hannah, you've just been pranked by the prank patrol. Barney and the ninjas have been working so hard to get you, and they finally have. I hope you had a brilliant time. Next time on Prank Patrol, our prankster Liz Hartley creates a soap opera where she tries to prank her best mate Sophie at a lousy laundrette where the service wash really sucks. <laughs> 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 <laughs>